today we are in Jai city. Two days and we are going to visit a few attractions. First stop is this Minsu guest house. It's called Slow Down and it's uh, close to Jai railway station. Let's go inside and have a look. Here's one of the rooms. They have three rooms in total. Not very big. So this is a small guest house in Jai city. It's very simple. One thing I like is the lamp. It's cute. Let's check out the view. Hmm old houses. Next up, we are going to the Song of the Forest over there. I love solitary trees like this one. It's so beautiful. So this is a wooden structure with a tunnel and a dome. Reminds me a bit of a similar structure in Miaoli where we did glamping. Let's go inside. So this is a great place to take pictures and I think it's even prettier in the evening. <laughs> so this is one of the places you want to visit in Jai. Back at the Jai Sawmill, came here last year. It's a great place to learn about the forestry industry here in Jai, southern Taiwan. So inside these Japanese buildings, they have exhibitions about the forestry industry. Not sure why they have all this wood stacked up here. Fine buildings from the Japanese colonial era. Here we have an interesting hut. Looks uh, indigenous style. Beautiful bamboo poles here and the roof has also bamboo, woven bamboo patterns. Cool. I also love those trees. There are a lot of birds in those trees too. This is Hinoki village, a cluster of old Japanese buildings with shops and eateries, very popular with tourists. It's close to the Bayman railway station and the Jai sawmill. I like the old Japanese buildings, but I'm not a big fan of the cute stuff around them. It's 
quieter here in the back where there are now shops, just houses. You can imagine how it was during the Japanese era here. Next up, the Jai Arboretum, created in 1907. Mm. A great place to go for a walk, a lot of trees, so different from the city. So out of a sudden you have like a forest here. I like it here. Wow, what a tall tree. These trees are awesome. See the, the how do you call these roots? Bandgun, watch out. Admission to the tower is fifty anti dollars. We are now on the tenth floor of the tower, and here you have a window where you can look straight down. Wow. From the sun shooting tower, you can see all of Jai city. But it's a bit hazy, so you cannot see beyond the city limits. Down there is a baseball stadium. You can see the trees of Jai Park. Beautiful. The sun is over there if you want to shoot it. Next up is a cafe, the Joe Cafe. It's on the main street here in Jai. Yesterday I noticed that they have U-bikes here in uh, Jai city and some of them are E-powered. Here you can see them. They have an orange back and it's still, you have to pedal, but there's some boost you get from the, from the motor inside. And it's a little bit more expensive for the first two hours it's twenty dollars each half hour and after that it's forty dollars each half hour and if the battery is below twenty percent you should re return the bike and if it's below five percent there's no power left but i guess you can still pedal back to the station let's try this okay the first thing I've noticed is that uh, 
the bike is much heavier. But apart from that, it looks same size, same basket, same handles. So right now we have 80% power. Let's see how far we can go with that. All right. First, first pedaling. You immediately feel if you push the pedals, you get a boost. It's so easy. I'm in in the third gear, and it's really easy to pedal. I also noticed that the brakes are much more powerful, so you have to be careful not to brake too hard. All right, after riding for a bit, I find it very, very much fun to ride this bike. It obviously gives you much more range and so I decided to get out of the city and now I'm here. I think it's already Jai County, you have a beautiful rice field. Here's the bike again. I'm now at 75% starting from 80, so you have to watch out for the the power bars change rather quickly and below the percentage you have the speed and after a few pedals you are already at 20 k per hour and I think the max speed is probably on flat on a flat road uh, maybe 30 to 35 I don't think you can go beyond 35 and it's probably not safe either. Let's look at this beautiful rice field. The sun is coming up. Just found a great spot for shooting birds. Here's the river, or small canal, channel, and down there are a lot of birds with red feet. I don't know what kind of birds they are. I will go back and check the name. And over there are some aigrets. They just flew away, but maybe they come back. Cool. Let's get the tele lens and get a closer look. Time hostel here in Jai. I like the door. Nice. <laughs> this hostel is great. Fairly new, but in an old building. Different room types. You have bunk bed rooms and. This room has, I don't know if you can sleep on this one, but uh, there's a ladder upstairs. Well designed, clean. This room has eight bunk beds. It goes inside and we have a curtain here. And close off, inside is a light. This is the largest room with 10 beds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
below the beds you have room to lock your valuables. Here you can sit outside, have breakfast, look down and see what's going on there. Typical old houses around. Next up, coffee shop named Ferns. And you can see Ferns outside already. Next up, we are at the Jai Insect Museum, which is part of the Jai University. All right, we just entered the Jai Insect Museum. They have a great hall here with a lot of specimen. The whole wall is, you can see butterflies. They have models of uh, bugs and cicadas. If you are interested in insects, it's definitely a place you want to visit. But I'm not sure if they have any English. Looks like they have only uh, Chinese information. But still, you can look at the uh, specimen. This is a great museum. Here we have giant bugs, live ones. Don't touch. So if you don't want to just see specimen but living insects, you can come to this hall, this greenhouse, and there are butterflies flying around. Not many, but I can see some. Next up, we are at the rippling moonlit talk. This uh, structure over there, it's on the southern end of Lantan Reservoir, east of Jai City. Lantan Reservoir, nothing special, just a body of water. I think that looks like a dam and this direction is Jai City. Very calm here. This is, I think, the dam of the reservoir. Looks like it. We are now on our way back to the Jai High Speed Rail Station and on the way you pass this little forest here with bald cypress trees and because it's winter now the, the leaves are orange so let's have a look check them out
final stop of our two-day trip to Jai city. This is the southern branch of the National Palace Museum. We only have time to take some pictures from the outside. I would love to go inside because I've never been there before, but maybe next time. So this, these two days were fun. I like Jai city. It's uh, a bit more relaxed than, for example, Tainan city. Less traffic and people are also all friendly. And I like that uh, they have this forest park in the city. And I also enjoyed riding the e-powered U-bikes this morning. That was fun. I think next next trip will be to Tainan city. So again in southern Taiwan. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.